Okay, um, here's a look at the Naga Viper that I've just made. I'm going to list on eBay. Um, I really like these ones. I have one on my pedal board. Um, it's 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 a it's a it's based on the old Dallas Rangemaster, but it's a silicon uh, version of it, and it's more tweakable because you can adjust the amount of gain that it has, and you can you can dial in um, quite a lot of of fatness into it. Um, On its cleanest setting, it's still got a fair bit of grip to it. It's, it's by no means a, a clean headroom boost, uh, but it sounds nice. You know, it's, it's, it's grunty and it's, and it's fun and it's got that old school um, sound to it. I made this one with, uh, it's the first one I made with a sort of Mojo metal can transistor. Um, I don't know if there's much difference. I would say it's possibly a bit more, bit more grunty. Um, but anyway, um, just one thing to say about this the first time when you first plug it into the, the the your power adapter the first time you turn it on it might pop once um they all do that the original ones do that and then after that you don't have switch pop it's just just something they do uh, so uh, these are really handy if you've got um a very dark sounding amp like my my laney cub 10 here oh, here i am with humbuckers into it it's not a bright amp, I've got the tone up full here. Straight away it's got that woofy spank that you'd expect from a range master. should have played a guitar with single coils really. the Naka Viper, a really cool, versatile, uh, dirty boost. Thank you for looking. <laughs>